Hi guys, tonight I have another process video for you for Project Life. These cards here are from Scraptastic and Gossamer Blue. I'm going to add this additional card to the bottom right. I like to do that a lot is add 3x4 cards over my 4x6. And I'm going to add this one to the bottom left. It says coffee is always a good idea. And that one's going to go to the bottom left card. And I really like that. I think that's a great place to start with my cards. So let's get into this. I'm going to start with the card on the top left hand corner. This is the title card for August. August. This is my first page for August and I'm going to zoom in so you can take a closer look. Okay, the first thing I do is I take out my wood veneers and I really wanted to use that viewfinder but it just didn't work out. So I kind of just flip through a lot of cork and wood veneer pieces and I end up finding a piece that I really like which is this Amy Tangerine piece that I've had in my stash forever and I just figured it looked really good right there in the corner. Now I have these cut aparts from Scraptastic. They came in the August kit and I like that one that says happening now with the arrow and I'm going to take my Tim Holtz scissors to cut these. Now I have the extra long Tim Holtz scissors, the newer ones that are nine and a half inches. They are perfect for cutting the cut aparts from Scraptastic. I really like them. I use them for that all the time and I'm just going to use my smaller scissors to cut in a fishtail banner here for some interest and I have my plus glue tape runner and I'm going to adhere this down. I really like the way that looks. It is a little longer so whatever falls over the edge I'm just going to cut that off to make it nice and even and I'm going to glue down that wood veneer. I'm going to use my uh, Tombow glue. I love this glue for gluing down wood veneers. It's definitely my glue of choice and I'm just going to put that down. I'm not concerned about getting it straight or anything. I just want it on the card and I like the way that looks. So I pull out some enamel dots because I want to dress up the card a little bit more. It's just looking a little too plain for me and I wanted to bring in more color. So I really like those green dots a lot. And this last one gives me a hard time, but I just pull out my precision tweezers to place it down, and I really like the way that looks. Now, I did want to add something else. I wanted to use this Scraptastic Ormolu tag really badly here, but it just wasn't working. I couldn't get it to work. It was covering a lot of that wood veneer, and I felt like it was taking away from it. So I take out my stash of cut aparts, and I just kind of flip through them, and I find another one from an older kit. I really like that one. So I'm going to adhere that down. And I'm going to use my tape runner for that as well and I just figure it gives that wood veneer a little bit of interest and it brings more color into the card and I really like that. I am going to call this card done and I'm going to add it to the pocket. We're going to move on to the next card. Here are my pictures that I pre-printed on my Canon selfie and I love these two pictures of Bella and Maxwell. I wanted to use this on a scale of 1 to 10 to matte the pictures but then it doesn't look right so I decide against it and I find other cards that I like better. I really like this one that's from the Kept for August that says ha ha ha. It's funny because Bella is posed exactly like Maxwell and I think it's funny and I think it's cute that she imitates her older brother. And I really like the way that looks. So I'm going to use my tape runner to adhere down that card. I love the polka dots on this. It's just such a fun card. I thought it was just perfect for these pictures. And then I'm going to adhere down both of the pictures of Bella and Maxwell. And I am going to fuss around with them a little bit because I never get placement usually 100% right the first time. And that's why I love this tape runner because you are able to play with the you know things that you're trying to adhere down before they set and I love that you have a lot of wiggle room with that tape runner and I did like that hello flare but I go to my stash because I wanted one that was more cat oriented so I pulled out this one it's from a flare for buttons it says cats rule and I love that and then I go to my stash of Scraptastic tabs you get these in the monthly kit with Scraptastic and I love these things you guys know that I use them on every layout so I 
pick two for these pictures and I'm going to put those down. Now I usually use my tiny attacher for these but this time I use my tape runner because I'm using the smaller one which is the green one in the bottom right hand corner it's the four millimeter width it's really thin and it's easy to put down these tiny tabs with it so I really like that tape runner as well as the pink one which I believe is either uh, I think is a six millimeter so this one's a four millimeter and that thin stripe is really nice for adhering down smaller items so I like the way that looks and I just want to dress up those tabs a little bit and my new favorite way to do that is by using my stamping up uh, rhinestones. I love these rhinestones. They're my favorite and I'm just going to put one in the center of each tab. I think it dresses it up just perfectly. It makes it look finished and I really like that a lot. So I am going to actually put down a couple more things. These sequins came in the August kit. They're from Teresa Collins. They were in the Gossamer Blue kit for August. Um, I know they're hard to see against this card, but in real life you can see them really well. And I'm going to use my Tombow glue and my precision tweezers again to put these down. I just fi figured that they finished the card really well. I didn't want to add regular sequins because I figured I'd be using those on other cards, so I wanted something a little different, and these were definitely different looking. But I do want to add something to the center of them. I don't want to add more rhinestones because I already put those on the tabs. So I have these older basic gray half pearls that I found in my stash that were the right color. And I'm going to put those in the center of each of the stars. And I really like that a lot. I think it really finishes them off and makes them look finished. Sometimes sequins bother me because they look unfinished. And other times they don't bother me. And I leave them plain with nothing in the center. These just looked a little too plain. Once I added that, I loved how it came out. I love that finish card. It looks so cute. And Bella is just adorable. She's such a copycat. <laughs> I wish I had a flair that said copycat. <laughs> but I have this one instead that says Cat's Rule. And you guys know I put them on the outside of my page protectors. So I'm done with that card. We're going to move on to the next. We went to a birthday party for Ke uh, Kelly's uncle, my husband's uncle. And um, it's more of like a father figure to him because his father passed away when he was younger. And his father's twin brother, Carl, uh, I'm sorry, Carol took over for him. And so it was Carol's birthday and I really wanted to document it. And those pennant banners on the top really make me think birthday when I look at them. So it was a farm picnic. So I wanted to dress this up a little bit. I wanted to put uh, down some stickers saying Carol's birthday. And I used my Tim Holtz. I did that off camera because it is easier to line them up. And I wanted to make it look more birthday since the picture wasn't too much. And I always think birthdays, I think of like the pennants on the top, balloons, sequins, stuff like that. So I definitely wanted to add sequins to this. So I'm going to put those down. And these sequins gave me a little hard time. I wasn't really sure where to place them. I kind of change it up a little bit. I get a little crazy here because I flipped these two and I probably should have just left them. And I end up going crazy trying to place them. And if you follow my last one that I'm going to move now, you're going to get a little dizzy. <laughs> because I moved it around so much and I finally decided to put it there and I like the final placement so I'm going to stick with that and I'm going to use my tweezers and my Tombow glue to adhere them down and like I had said earlier sometimes sequins look finished and unfinished to me these looked fine to me I didn't feel the need to put anything in the center of them I really liked the way they looked and I like the lettering down at the bottom for Carol's birthday so I feel like it looks very birthday oriented now where the picture itself wasn't very birthday themed so we're going to put that in the pocket and call it done we're going to go on to the next card this one here says simply delicious this is going to be the picture of the cake. He is a ham radio operator, so they made a cake with a radio on it, and I thought that was really cute. I'm going to trim down the picture to make it fit. Now, someone had already cut the cake before I got a chance to take a picture of it, but I end up camouflaging that, and you'll see that in just a moment. I have these stickers here from my stash. They've, I've had them for a while. They, the sticker says, today we are blessed, and I really do feel like we were, and we are for each of Carol's birthdays he's 80 so feeling that 
that was the perfect sticker to put on the top that we are blessed to be able to share another birthday with him. And these stickers came in the August kit. They're from Teresa Collins. I love this black and white border sticker, and I figured it was the perfect way to camouflage the cupcake. Now, I wanted to add another layer, but it didn't look right, so I go back and I pick up another one of the border stickers, and I love this border sticker. It's scalloped with some red triangles, and it just worked out so perfect and it really does camouflage that the cake was cut now it doesn't look like it was which makes me happy and it also gave me the perfect spot to put the 80 because it was his 80th birthday so I had these letter and number stickers from my stash I think they're from an older gossamer blue kit and I just love the way that ended up coming out like it looks like I did it on purpose when I really didn't it just worked out that way sometimes that just happens when I do my cards and it's a great thing. Now I pulled out this stamp, which is definitely my nemesis. I hate this stamp. Every time I stamp it out on a scrap piece of paper, it comes out perfect. And then when I stamp it on the card, it does not. And that bugged me. So I just cut out the original stamp from the practice stamp and I put it on top of it and I was able to camouflage the mistake. Now I know a lot of you randomly stamp the date and it doesn't look perfect and all that. I haven't mastered that yet. So I want to add something else here and I end up just adding a rhinestone to emphasize the date so your eyes go over to the date and I really like the way that came out. I'm going to call that card done. Now this card here is cool. It says sometimes the smallest things take up the most room in our hearts. I love that card. I just added some wink of Stella. You can't see it on the video but in real life it does look very sparkly. So I'm not going to add anything else to that. I'm going to move on to my next card that says bloom. I want to add a garden picture here. Now I wanted to do that one but then I did this one since it says bloom and the flower that's in this picture bloomed out of control. So I just have to trim it down but I'm not really feeling it. I'm not liking the way it looks so I take out my circle punch and I punch it and I love the way it came out. This thing bloomed like the size of a tire. It was huge so I thought that was a perfect card for this picture and I find this little awesome sticker that is purple in my stash and I thought it just looked really cute with the purple flowers so I'm going to adhere this down and I'm so glad I circle punched that because I think it looks so cool and I'm not going to add anything else to this card because I think it looks just perfect and I really like it that it's simple like that. A lot of the other ones were very busy in the background so I wanted to keep that simple. Now on to this card. This one says coffee is always a good idea and I'm not even a coffee drinker but I broke and in August I went to Starbucks and I tried a iced skinny latte and I loved it with a lot of sugar in it. It was pretty good. <laughs> so I wanted to use this card to document my trip and my first coffee drink from Starbucks. I know, I'm like, where have I been living under a rock? This is my first time at Starbucks, huh? <laughs> anyway, here is the picture, and I really, really loved this ice latte. It was so good and so yummy. And it's funny to see that it's ice because now it's cold and it's like, whew, I won't even think of it. Then I got these uh, label stickers from Pink Paisley. It said of recent discovery. So for me, because it was a recent discovery, it was perfect. And I go back to my wood veneers and I pick it this one out that says love and I think it just looks perfect there so I'm going to keep that and I go back to my Tim Holtz letters and I'm going to spell out skinny latte now the letters were a little too long for the tab so what I'm doing is I'm just trimming them down if you've ever used these letters there's a lot of space above and below the actual letter so I'm just going to give it a little trim and I like the way that came out it says skinny latte perfect and then I'm going to take that wood veneer and I'm going to adhere that down and I'm going to use my Tombow glue again that came in the kit for August as well I think it was the gossamer blue if I'm not mistaken perfect now I want to add something on the top because it doesn't feel balanced to me so I add this uh, polka dotted washi tape it's from smash and I just figure it really finishes off the card and it brings in the black from the Tim Holtz letters I really love how that came out so I'm going to call that card done and I'm going to move on to the last card now this one here I move the dots to the left side instead of along the bottom and here are the two pictures I'm going to use for this card because it's just documenting my flowers which 
which I like to do throughout the year so I can see the progress of them. And I'm just placing them down. I'm going to make them fit because I want them both to go there. And I'm just going to hold down the pieces in their original position and tape them without trying to move them so I get it in the exact spot that I tried it in. Because sometimes I can't always duplicate when I first try it and it looks great. And then I go back, I can't get the same spot. So I'm doing it again here. I'm leaving the picture in the spot that I placed it and just lifting the corners and taping down so it doesn't move. And that seems to really work when I'm doing placement, weird placement like this. And that one there, I'm just going to line up with the dots on the side. And I think it came out perfect. I really like the way that looks. Now, I wanted to add something down here at the bottom. I wasn't sure what to add. I tried different things. They weren't working or they just weren't looking right. And I really do try. I try all kinds of things here. I just keep flipping through things, tossing them on the side, grabbing new things. And then I think maybe I need to add to the top. I had this border sticker from Teresa Collins left over. It was the cut piece from when I decorated the cake card. And I really like that. I think that's what the card needed was something on the top and not the bottom. And I'm just kind of looking at other options of what to add here. I have this smile acetate overlay by Heidi Swap. I like that. I have these cork stars. I'm trying to make those work. Ultimately they didn't so I removed them and I go back to my Teresa Collins sticker sheet from the August kit and I pick this camera. I like that one. I think it looks cute there and I'm going to add a rhinestone to the center of the camera. I use a lot of rhinestones these days lately and I'm really liking that and then I want to adhere down that smile overlay and I'm just deciding how I'm going to do that and the best way to do it is just with your tiny attacher I only have to put in two staples and it holds down the overlay and it doesn't interfere with the pictures so I really love the way that came out I'm really happy with the final result of that card so we're gonna call it done and that's it guys this page is done it's my first page from August I really love how it came out I hope you guys love this so thumbs up if you did and please comment because I love to hear your comments guys and I will definitely do more of these thank you so much for watching guys bye Thank you.